Hi, welcome back. Um, this is a rodent breeder uh, update. If you watch my new rodent breeder rack, then you'll know that um, it was getting costly for me to keep buying rats for my snakes. I have 10 snakes and it was getting pricey to feed them. So I wanted to try my hand at uh, breeding rodents. And this is an update on, on my success with breeding rodents. Uh, it's been three months and we've had five litters and so far it's been pretty good. I haven't really had to go to the store to buy, uh, buy any rodents. The only thing I've had to buy is um, bedding and, uh, and the uh, rodent food and uh, that's, that's pretty inexpensive so it's been a, been a good thing. So what I'm going to do today is, is show you some of the babies and uh, the mamas and stuff and um, you know fill you in on, on how it's been going. So this was the rack that I had shown in my first video, the um, new breeder rack, and it's a six tub system and so far it's been pretty good. It's all I need. I don't feel I need anything more than that and uh, it's been pretty pretty good. Um, what, what I do is, is uh, I'll have some tubs where, where it's a male and female ratio, um, one to two, one male to two females. Then the other tubs I'll have with just the mamas, and then the uh, two lower tubs I use as uh, nursing tubs when um, the babies are just big enough to walk around, but not big enough to stand up, stand up straight and eat from the top. So with these, I put the food inside the cage, and it's it's lower, so the uh, the smaller rats can eat those. In this rack, I have. Uh, two mamas. One already um, delivered her babies. The other will be delivering soon. And those are the babies back there. She had eight of them. The father was a uh, hooded rat who had black and white fur. So these look like they're going to have black and white. This one here is the mama. This one there is pregnant and will be delivering soon. So this is litter number five for us. In this tub we have litter number four. They're a little more grown up. These are tall enough to reach the food and, and eat the food here. and They're tall enough to drink the water. In this tub I have, um, I have rats that I've kept over from litter two that I'm going to raise and add to, uh, to raise to make breeders. There's one now. There's one male in there. And the rest are females. But as you can see, they're getting larger. I've got a solid white one in there. In this last tub here, I have a couple females. That one was a mother. 
I've got her in here with a couple other females and she's in here so she can rest. She, she gave me two litters and I'm just giving her a break. But there's some other females in here. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll keep some females together and some males together when I'm when I have enough babies and I, I don't want them reproducing anymore. So I, I've got females in this tub and then in my very top tub I've got the males and uh, that way when if they're not together they're not, they're not going to reproduce and I can kind of slow down production if I you know don't want to produce too many rats. I know some people uh, will produce rats and sell off the extras. I really don't want people coming to my house to buy rats. So I just got these, not really to sell rats, but I got them to uh, just to have as food for my snakes. So I don't want to make more than my snakes will eat. So that's how I slow down production is I'll separate the males and the females. One thing I did was I went out and bought a couple trash cans at um, Home Depot to store my uh, food and my pine shavings. Um, I, buy the, I buy the food in 50 pound bags and I just I wanted something easier to, uh, to have to store the food in rather than the bag that it came in. So I got this 20 gallon tub and this will hold 100 pounds worth of food uh, but I only buy one, one bag of food at a time. Uh, just so it doesn't go stale but uh, it's really easy you know I just I keep a scoop in here and you know it keeps it simple I keep my extra um, wire wire I don't know what you call them wire bowls whatever uh, for the baby racks I keep the extras in here extra wire and stuff like that Then in this one, it's a larger tub. I forget how many gallons. It's a 30-something gallon. I forget. But this is what I keep my... Um, I keep bedding in here. I keep newspaper in here. Uh, whenever we use, use up the stuff that comes in boxes, I'll save the boxes because the, the rats like to use these as um, hides. And it makes them feel more comfortable. So I, I save all these. And uh, they'll make little houses out of them. They'll chew holes in them and stuff. And I'd rather them chew this than chew through the tub. And what I use for bedding is I use the paper stuff, the um, Care Fresh. And it's like a cardboard paper, nice and soft and absorbent. And I mix that. I mix that with pine shavings. And I also store my wood in here. I'll take um, some untreated 2x4s uh, and I just cut them up and whenever I change out a tub I put in a wood block and that way the rats will chew the wood block and it keeps them from chewing on the tubs. And it's been three months since I've been doing this and I have had no chew out and it doesn't look like any of my rats are attempting to chew out. There's you know, all the plastic is intact in all the tubs, and uh, when I exchange these out, they've actually chewed off the corners and, and made, they make these into round cylinders. It's pretty neat, but they're definitely chewing on these, so this, this was a good idea. I'm, I'm glad I did this. So that's my update. Um, like I said, it's been three months. It's been going well. I've been really, really happy with it. Uh, if you're um, thinking of breeding your own rats, give it a shot. It's, it's actually not bad, and it de definitely saves money. Um, 
like I said, I've got a six tub system and uh, we've had, you know, five litters so far and each litter produces about eight to 11 rats. Um, and there was a time where I had 38 babies, uh, including all the, all the breeder adults and stuff in here. And to give you an idea of what it's costing me with bedding and food, when I would go out and buy rats for my snakes, I have 10 snakes, it would cost me roughly 50 to 55, 60 bucks uh, a month on food. Um, so doing this rat breeding thing, I have um, now cut that down significantly because what I do is I'll go to, the, to a feed store and I'll buy the uh, rodent food and I use Missouri breeder the rodent breeder, um, I don't know what you'd call these, tablets, capsules, but uh, the Missouri rodent breeder. I buy the 50 pound bag for about $30. That lasts roughly one and a half months to two months. And then I buy the um, pine bedding. That's the pine bedding up there. That's for horses. It's a big bale and it comes in a plastic bag. Um, it, forget how many, I think it gives you something like nine cubic feet or something like that. It, it's compressed and when you open a bag it un, 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 uncompresses. And half the bag will fill up that larger garbage can right there. And I forget how many gallons it is. It's, it's 30 some odd gallons. But um, half a bag will fill that up and half half a bag will last me one month so I get two months out of that that bag and a bag is ten dollars so I'm spending about forty three dollars every two months so it did cut it did cut down uh, and it's and I it saves me from having to go to the pet store um, you know whenever I want to feed my snakes I simply come out to my garage and take what I need and feed my snakes there's no driving to the store so it's it's a it's a nice convenience so if you're thinking about doing it I would say give it a shot uh, a lot of people want to know about the smell it really doesn't smell that bad if you stay on top of it I change these once a week there's really no smell um, it, it's it's not bad at all so give it a shot if you have any questions post them below and I'll answer them thank you bye bye